Here's a quick video to show you a few different ways that you can see the name of the node that you're looking at in Gephi. So what I have here is just the LeMiz data set that comes built in with Gephi. And this little icon down here at the bottom, you can click on and it brings up options for seeing uh, labels. And so we're gonna click on the labels tab Okay, and so if we click this on to turn on node labels, you can see that we get the text on here. Now this network is pretty small and so you can zoom in and sort of read the text, but if you have a big network, all of this overlaps each other. It's really hard to read. So there's a few different ways you can adjust it. This panel over here allows you to change the size. So you can change this relative to node size and then what you'll see is the nodes that are bigger get bigger text. Um, that often is really helpful because these little ones that are all clustered together, you can zoom in and see them, but it's not overwhelming otherwise. Uh, if we turn that off, another option is that you can just right click on the node and do select in data laboratory. And that doesn't look like it does anything, but if we switch over to the data laboratory, we'll see that that node is selected. So it'll be the one that's highlighted in the row. And so that's something you can do if you want to see one at a time. But a feature that I discovered after a few years of using Gephi, uh, it relates to the labels that show up in the graph. So I've turned them back on here with Node. And there's this option down here, Hide Non-Selected. And if you check that, it looks like they go away. But when you mouse over, it pops the name back up. And here it's still scaled relative to the node size, um, which makes these little ones kind of hard to read down there because the text is really small. And so if you do that, you may want to put it back to scaled or fixed, and so you get kind of the standard size. But that's a way when you're exploring through the graph, if you wanna see a node and see what name it is, you just get to mouse over it and the name pops up. So to do that, it's clicking this hide non-selected button. And if you can't find that, it's this teeny tiny little icon in the corner that brings up those options. So make sure node is checked, hide non-selected is on, and then you get this nice feature.